You know, non-essential businesses are closed during the fight to end COVID-19, including bridal salons, which may seem like a setback for brides, but Katie from Sweet Hello Bridal has some answers for us. Katie, it is so good to see you. How are you? Good. How are you doing, Alex? Good. Uh, crazy time to open a business on your end, but you're, you seem to be adapting. Lots of brides mm -hmm. trying to stay on schedule with planning their weddings. Obviously, a big part of that is buying the dress. So how are you adapting to dress shopping during this crazy time? Yeah, um, first and foremost, I it has to be awful for all the brides and the bridesmaids and moms and dads of these people who are getting married in 2020. So my heart goes out to you guys. Um, so all the fall and winter weddings that were going to be happening, yeah, it's really hard because there should be coming in right now, getting dresses, um, tried on. So what we're actually doing at Sweet Hello Bridal is we have offered virtual appointments where we can set up a Zoom um, meeting like we are right now, or we can do it via FaceTime or via text message and phone call where we get to know the brides, where we can talk to you, hear about your wedding, hear about your vision, send us your Pinterest board. Let us see what you're envisioning for your day. And we can learn all about that, Alex. And then we can, what we're doing is we learn, we see what they're looking for. Then I hang up with them. Then I put dresses on mannequins for the brides. So then once that is set up, I can either get back on Zoom and I show them the dresses that are kind of talking about meeting their style. I'll zoom in on different details of it so they can see it, or I'll send them a video or photo, whatever works best for them. And then what we do is then we catalog that. So once we are open, then we know Heather from San Diego likes this dress and we can have it all ready for her and line up the dresses that she liked that matches her style. So once we are open, we can get them in and out faster. Okay, so now if brides can't try on dresses, how does that work? So what we've been doing is we have had people, we've been measuring virtually. We'll send them a little bit of a paper of how to measure. A lot of brides sometimes don't have a measuring tape at home. So we have also sent one of our measures so they know what sizes they are because bridal sizes are different. Um, so we get their measurements um, because when the we are going to be reopened, the time is crunched, right? We're going to be three, four right. months. I, mean, I, mean, I know that it normally probably takes, what, like nine months for a wedding dress to come in? Are they going to get the chance to try it on before the big day? I mean, scary stuff. Exactly. <laughs> no, Alex, it's such a huge concern right. because these ladies are wanting their dress that they've envisioned from time. And some of these milestones that they typically would have are being modified and they have to, like, find a new way to... Um, get their dress in that moment that they want a little differently and how we're doing at Sweet Hello Bridal we have a few things some of our designers can take three to four months and even though we've been closed we've been talking with our designers like how are things going everything is still on time our designers want the girls to have their dress as much as we want them to have their dress so they are working really hard to build stock during this time but in addition depending when we open we have a beautiful limited edition collection that is aisle ready right now that if a bride comes in let's say we open in june and their weddings in july they and if they like a style here they can walk out the door with that dress try it on and That's it's awesome. theirs so we have a lot of different channels um, we just want everyone to have what they want, but hopefully they will try everything on before and then because we want them to have their moment. We want them to have the perfect dress, not a dress that they settled for. Great. Well, you know, I always like to try to end on a positive note, yeah. Katie, and you know, all right, so here's the thing. Obviously, I haven't gone dress shopping with, with a lot of women, but it's my understanding that they normally go in groups, they make an event out of it, which is fun, and it's part of the experience. However, there's got to be <laughs> there's got to be some positives to this. How have these virtual uh, dress shopping appointments been going, and have brides been able to kind of put their own opinion in without you know the mother-in-law chiming in? Is it been, is that part of it been nice? <laughs> You know, we have some brides before we even closed that would come before their crew came and told us what they liked. And then we brought them out as if either they didn't have a, an appointment yet or they did. Um, but yeah, the meeting um, with Zoom or however we handle the virtual appointment it has allowed them to be a little bit more vocal without the um, 
the support and advice from the crew. Um, but we also have hosted a Zoom meeting with a couple bridesmaids on the call. It's a little glitchy, but they can kind of support from afar if that bride wants someone's opinion. Um, so it's a little bit of both. Um, the brides have enjoyed it because they want this time, Alex, to be able to still plan their wedding. Because as you said, a wedding dress is the dress that means the most for their entire life and what they want for their wedding vision. So they're happy to do this virtual appointment because it's still having those conversations that they can see the dress, know that there's some hope in this moment and they have enjoyed the virtual appointments. Well, Katie, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. And I hope that you help lots of brides uh, and, and grooms keep their, uh, their wedding on schedule and that hopefully we can get back to normal sooner than later, but uh, I hope you. that you are staying healthy, all of your customers are staying healthy, and we'll talk to you soon. Absolutely. Thank you, Alex.